State Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Beautiful weekend across the Susquehanna Valley. Today was just a touch warmer and we had just a little bit extra humidity. Eventually, this is going to give way to some passing showers and thunderstorms. That is most likely late on Monday night into Tuesday. Here's a live look over Ephrata right now. Mostly sunny skies and not too bad. It's 82 degrees. Dew points in Ephrata are sitting in the upper 50s. Some spots, the dew points are now sitting in the 60s. Just that subtle change out there. We have the extra humidity, but no action. Uh, locally on Super Doppler 8 Live Radar. That will change late tomorrow night on into uh, Tuesday morning. Across the Susquehanna Valley, temperatures are in the low to mid 80s, with the exception of a few spots in the 70s. Currently in Landisburg, it's 82, 84 currently in Harrisburg, and 81 if you're watching us in York. We did make it to 87 today. Our low this morning was 62. No rain fell in the bucket, and the record is 98. Here is your News 8 Storm Team forecast. It's going to be a great rest of the evening. Temperatures will be dropping into the mid 70s. As we approach sunset late overnight tonight, be a bright full moon out there with partly to mostly clear skies. The skies will continue to clear late overnight as temperatures fall to the mid 60s. And that's right on par where we should be. And then for tomorrow, mid 80s will start off with plenty of sunshine. Then the clouds will increase through the day. And then widespread showers return to the forecast very late overnight on a Tuesday morning. And some of this rainfall could be quite heavy by Tuesday morning. Speaking of the full moon, it's what we call a super moon that is out there. The big Biggest and brightest full moon of 2014, and it also will be the closest full moon to Earth this year. And you'll have plenty of chance to see it. I do expect the conditions will be well, and the moon will set tomorrow morning at 7:18 as the sun begins to rise. This will compete with the Perseids, which is the meteor shower that always peaks during August. The problems will be that bright full moon and also the rain and storms returning. It will peak on into Wednesday, but I do have some good news. We'll have clearer skies later this week. So if you're out and about late in the overnight, you see a shooting star. That is the reason. Keeping you updated on the tropics, what's happening with Hawaii? We have Hurricane Julio to the north and northeast of the island. Islands, and that's where it will stay. It will weaken back down to a tropical storm as we head closer into the weekend. This will no longer impact or impact rather the islands. High pressure continues to control our weather, but now that we're on the far western side of the ridge, winds are going to continue to come up from the southeast. Our humidity will increase through the day tomorrow. And then here comes our next rain system. Right now, centered back in the high plains and in Canada, this cold front will slowly push to the east and run into that moisture coming in from the southeast. So here's a look at our predictor. The ridge of high pressure continues to move offshore, and we'll start to see the clouds increase through the day for tomorrow. Notice here we are tomorrow morning, mostly sunny skies. That will become partly cloudy during the day. And then late overnight into Monday night, the clouds will really thicken up, and then rain chances go up from west to east, and then storms will become more active as we head through the day on Tuesday. And this is when I'm expecting the heaviest rainfall as that system slowly treks to the east. It's not until late on Wednesday morning when widespread showers will move back out of the forecast. With that widespread of rain around on Tuesday, temperatures are only going to climb into the upper 70s. Another that once that front moves on through, drier and unseasonally cool weather returns to the Susquehanna Valley, feeling more like September than August. Well, it's been a nice weekend. It has. Sure. All right.